My name's Ashley Kesson. I'm a 16-year-old student at Lincoln High School in Christchurch. I'm interested in landscaping as a career as I'm interested in the physical side of the job and putting my touch on the environment. Ashley will have plenty of opportunities to work his muscles today. Adam Pollard of Morgan Pollard Landscaping has a wealth of experience to offer Ashley and will give him some on-the-job training. Really look for um, someone who likes the outdoors, um, they're physically fit and uh, are really keen to get out there and, and do a bit of work. Morning Ashley, how are you? Good thanks. Um, you'll be doing a whole lot of different things today, have, have you had any experience in landscaping? Uh, limited, but I have quite a passion for the industry. Excellent, excellent. Well we've got a lot to get onto today, so let's get underway. Awesome. can be quite a hard physical job, but um, it's also really rewarding. Yeah, we really look for someone that's really keen more than anything else and really wants to learn. Well Ashley, we're here at this rest home. This big part of our job is actually getting and reading plans and putting on the ground what designers do for us. Today we're going to try and pour some concrete through here. We can get on and do it. Awesome. We're trying to protect the paving, so just lay that out like that and roll it all the way through and then that'll just sit down there and as we go along we'll put some pegs down. The paving contractor shows Ashley how to screed the cement. In our um, industry, landscape across the board, they have to learn everything. They learn from carpentry to plumbing to plastering to tiling, paving, um, soft landscape in the sense of doing lawns, lawn preparation and, and sewing or, or ready lawn, planting, um, plant layout, a wee bit of design. Um, it covers a lot of different trades and why they may not be proficient at get to do everything of, all the time, they'll get to lot, do a whole lot of different things. It's been good, we've barrowed some concrete, the barrows had a bit of weight in them. Used some scree boards to flatten it out. There's a fine art to the scree boarding and found that I was getting the art of it going alright. Having completed a number of tasks successfully, it's time to move on to the next job. Alright Ashley, we're up here, we're going to be planting some agapanthus along the front of here. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is measure out how many metres we've got and divide up how many agapanthus we need per metre. And then uh, we can get on and plant them. Just basically measure all the way around, stop on either side of the steps obviously. Yeah. And then up the other end where we stopped before, then yell out the measurement. 43. 43 metres. See what we're going to be doing is grabbing the wee agapanthus and we're going to basically get it in between halfway between the heavy and the lawn edge will be an agapanthus. So what we'll do first is go through and set them all out. And then basically 350 millimetres from that centre of that one to the centre of the next one will be the next plant. Okay. A big part of landscaping is planting obviously and, and setting out and knowing what plants go where and, and why they go there. You know, every job is different, every job has specific needs, be it be the client or, or it's actually position and, and sun and, and shade and, and wind and so forth. You know, a first year apprentice kind of starts off doing what you're doing now, is doing a bit of planting, following planting by numbers I call it, where you get a plan and you, you set them out as per the plan and, and during that process you learn a lot about the different types of plants and as, as you get better with plants, you know, you can, you can create some quite funky different landscapes with them. So what are the benefits of choosing to embark on an apprenticeship? Well, I suppose it's, it's learning on the job. You get the whole wide range of different jobs. You're learning practically how to do things. You learn from a lot of people who have got a lot of experience, not just out of a textbook. You get the technical side of it through theory as well as the practical side on the job. Tom Kelly has almost completed the first year of his National Certificate in Horticulture. So what drew you into the industry, Tom? Um, well, I wanted to be outside, outdoors, you know. So are you finding the physical side of the job very hard? Um, yeah, well, it's pretty good because, you know, yeah, yeah, when you're working, you're, not, you're also working out as well. Um, it's pretty tough on the body, but you sort of get used to it. Not only is the apprentice's progress monitored by his employer, but through visits by the Primary Industry Training Organisation Regional Manager. How you doing, Tom? You good. Um, now, just doing a bit of a quarterly visit with you guys. Tom's been basically doing most of the stuff that's in there. We've been keeping an eye through on the unit and, and uh, you're feeling pretty confident that you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're well through that part of it anyway. Well, every three months I catch up with the apprentices in the workplace. It's just a, a mentoring process. If there's any problems with the employer or the, the apprentice, they can air them then and we can sort anything out from there on in. Um, it's also, also a good opportunity to be able to sign certain units off, um, organise off-job training or block courses and things like that. So. It's just a good communication line. Rightio Ashley, we're on a lawn laying job today and we've got the roach your hoe. Basically what you're going to do is go through and roach your hoe up and down here and we're going to just break the soil pan up a bit and uh, we've got other sort of going over the top.
The next step is to compact the soil. You do look like an idiot when you're doing it though. <laughs> Just on there, Adam. It's hard physically, but it's really rewarding. Not many two days are the same. Most jobs will last three to four days. Very rarely do you get bored. There's always something to learn even once you've finished your trade. I mean, it's only really the beginning. So it's been good to follow it through from start to finish and it's quite rewarding to be able to see the finished product. It's been an eventful day for Ashley and he's managed to impress the boss. I think Ashley has a very good future in this. He's an intelligent guy, he's um, keen to learn and he seems willing, he seems to like the outdoors and uh, that's what we're after really. Um, I'd be more than happy to employ Ashley as, a, as an apprentice and uh, take him through his training. I think he's got good potential. I think it's just a job for me. To gain a national certificate in horticulture, advanced landscape level four takes three years. This includes practical on-the-job training as well as theory work off the job. Apprentices earn while they learn. Salaries start on the minimum wage but increase as experience is gained. There are no specific entry requirements to become a landscape gardener, however a driver's licence is preferred by most employers. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.